when I start a, a study of, say, a horse or something, I'll mix a little uh, transparent red oxide and some um, uh, ultramarine blue, and then I'll just find out where I'm going to put it. I'm establishing the knee and the ankles there, you know. I, so I put in, I put in what the, bar, the actual barrel of the horse and all that sort of thing. And so now I'm establishing where the legs are going to be. So I'm establishing that knee and that ankle and how that hoof is going to be. You'd be surprised how many people shy away from painting or drawing the hoofs. You know, it's just something you got to learn. So I'm just searching right now. I'm not, I'm not making any hard and fast commitments. I'm just searching for places to put, to put my uh, elements of the horse. We've got a short, we've got this shoulder blade that comes out here, so we gotta make sure that that's in there. And then the chest area is here. And then the other shoulder comes over here. Bring that leg in. So this is one way to do it, basically. There's all, all kinds of ways to do it. This is just a, an easy way for me. If I have to do it as a, a, a demo or if, or if I'm working as a study or something like that, I'll uh, start out this way. Um, so, since, so then once I get my proportions in, I know kind of what it's going to be. I'll uh, mix up a dark color. And we know that there's going to be, where the muzzle is, I'll just put those in there. The eye has got to be up a little higher than I have it. And I'll do this here. Now the thing is, most people don't realize is that the girth of a horse, this girth, is about the same si height same distance between here and here as it is between here and here. So I'll start putting in these dark areas that I know are going to be dark. So we've got this muscle mass here. There's a big muscle mass right there. But there's a dark area right there. And then behind the, at the girth, there's the start of the barrel of the horse. And behind this shoulder, there's a dark area that comes down, goes around. And I'll, I'll just I'm, just, I'm establishing these dark areas as points of reference for me later on when I start applying real paint. But I just want to know that I'm within the boundaries of acceptability, that this is going to be a horse and not a hippo. So what we're saying now is that the sunlight's coming down pretty much Let's see, we, want it, we, won't, we won't have it coming down directly overhead, so this will be in the shadow a little bit. And this will be a little bit more in the shadow. This will definitely be in the shadow. And so we'll say, we know our shadow is going to be like this, a little bit longer here, a little bit shorter here because the sun's coming, like, like so, kind of. You can draw a horse, but I can't draw an arrow in the shadow a little bit. And there's always, I love this little dip up here. So here I am, and now here's another thing. You'll see, there's always, even though it's gonna be in the shadow, there's always this, this entry point of this leg is always, I always highlight, I always make sure that you could, that that's delineated. Because it's just important to me. You know, I don't have any real reason for it. Now this is a good way to, to do studies and just call it good, you know, because you've got pretty much the highlights you want. And by the, with the exception of a few, you've got, you want a stronger highlight here. And you'd want a little bit of show of the withers there. And then you'd want this back to come down like that. And then the hip, so, and then the other side. So you could stop here if you're doing a study. In fact, you know, I'd like to do all my paintings like that. Because this is, I can't tell you how much fun this is to do, to do it like this.